my name is dr tolu and today we'll be discussing six tests that you must do before you say i do that's basically saying six tests that you should do before you get married now if you like what i have to say in this video please hit the subscribe button hit the like button leave a comment for me telling me how useful this video was or if you have any topics you would like me to discuss in the future on my youtube channel and also share this video with loved ones if you found it useful all right guys so let's get right to it So the first test that everyone should do before getting married is fertility checks. Of course, all these six tests don't come in any particular order, but I'm just going to talk about them as they come to mind, right? So let's talk about fertility checks. Now, this is important, especially for those who would love to have biological children in their marriage right because we understand that not all couples want to have kids or even if they want to have kids not all of them want to have biological kids maybe you want to adopt in which case this particular test may not be very necessary but for those who want to have biological children then it is important to have fertility tests run for both men and women now in some cultures when there's maybe when there's maybe like a delay with having children they tend to blame women um, exclusively but what we found out medically is that men are just as culpable when it comes to contributing to infertility right so it's important for both men and women to have fertility checks done for men the most important one is to have maybe a seminal fluid analysis where they check the seminal fluid of the man and then they check the sperm in it to make sure that um, the sperm is good enough and plenty enough to increase the chances of having biological children and for the women there are many tests that could be done right um, like a pelvic scan just to take a look at the organs in the abdomen and pelvis especially the reproductive organs like the uterus and just to make sure that everything's fine there and then some other tests like a hormone profile where you check the hormone levels of the woman and make sure that they are compatible for um, getting pregnant and carrying the pregnancy to term and then based on her unique symptoms or clinical history there are other tests that could be done as well but fertility checks very important if especially if you want to have biological children in your marriage second on my list is std tests now stds are sexually transmitted diseases they are used interchangeably with sti sexually transmitted infections and for the purpose of this conversation we can use them interchangeably now basically what this means is before you get married you and your partner should check yourselves for sexually transmitted infections now this is important for several reasons one of them is i mean you don't want to go into marriage because when you are married i'm expecting or it's expected that two of you would have some degree of unprotected sex right and you don't want that to now be an avenue for passing diseases or infections that should not be passed or should not even be found right in marriage and it's also important because sometimes and in some peculiar cases uh, you could run tests and then you know each other's status when it comes to sexual transmitted infections and you can still decide to go ahead with the marriage for instance you could run tests find out that one partner maybe has hiv and then the person could get started on antiretroviral medication that the two of you can still decide okay the viral load is really low and maybe we can still get go along with this right so but it's just important to have those tests run it may not necessarily be a deal breaker whatever result you get because many of the stis even if you find them they're treatable right i mean you have syphilis gonorrhea that you just treat um and then the person is fine but then um it is important to know your status and that of your partner so that it can influence your decisions so sti checks necessary So the third test on my list is not any particular test per se, but it is to check for chronic medical conditions. Now, what chronic medical conditions are important to know about? For instance, um, you want to know if your partner has maybe a 
condition like diabetes mellitus or if your partner is hypertensive or if your partner has any other chronic medical condition that may require lifetime management even if your partner or you don't have any of these chronic medical conditions to know if there are any of these chronic medical conditions that run in the families now i would give an example you are looking to get married to a man and then the man runs tests and then finds out that maybe the blood sugar is higher than it should be maybe not at the level where we consider it to be diabetes and then you check the family and you see that there is a strong family history of diabetes that can help you to make changes in the marriage to even help him not to get to the level where he's considered to be diabetic. For instance, you can decide that, okay, you found this out and you are going to start helping him with his diet, right? Because as the woman, you might be the one who may be doing most of the cooking, depending on what you and your partner have discussed. So you can help to influence his diet, help to get him to eat the right types of food that can help him to manage the pre-diabetic condition well and this is also useful when you consider conditions like hypertension as well because i mean you can help your partner to manage whatever chronic medical condition that they have or even help them to avoid it altogether if you notice that such a chronic medical condition runs in the family so it's important to run tests for chronic medical conditions number four on my list is blood genotype testing now this is really important right because when you are looking at genotype you are considering whether you and your partner are AA AS SS and then there are other ones like SC CC but the three major ones that we find are AA AS SS and then the other ones are also quite important right it's important for you to know this so that it helps you avoid having children that have um, sickle cell disease now for instance if you run this test and then you find that you are as and your partner is as or maybe you are as your partner is um, ac all these kinds of things you then need to have a sit down and have a conversation especially a conversation with your doctor to know what your options are with respect to getting married and having biological children the one thing you don't want to do is to get married and have children with sickle cell disease right because it is a chronic and a very painful condition it has a way of putting an unbelievable level of stress on marriages when they have children with um, sickle cell disease so that's something you want to avoid so it's very important for you to know your blood genotype status Number five on my list is to know your blood group. Now, blood group is quite different from genotype. I mean, when we're talking about genotype, we're talking about um, AAAS, SS, SC, and all the likes, right? But when we're talking about blood group, we're talking about the group that your blood type falls under, right? And with that, we are talking about O, A, A, B, you know, that kind of thing. So it's important as well to know this because, first of all, you want to know if you and your partner um, you want to understand your level of um, blood group compatibility, right? And then this is also important when we talk about viscous disease, which is something that I've discussed. And as I speak now, there's a link appearing on my discussion about um, viscous disease. But it is also important so that you can avoid um, resource incompatibility. Resource incompatibility is something that ultimately may lead to problems with your unborn child. Now, I probably would not want to go into all the details about it, but then it is one very important reason for you and your partner to know your blood group before you commit to marriage. <music> And number six and the last thing I'll be discussing today is to know your mental health status and that of your partner. Now why is this important? It is very important because of several reasons, right? Now sometimes we've seen that some mental health conditions run in families 
and this is just as important as physical health conditions. Now, the thing about mental health conditions is because they are grossly misunderstood or people don't even pay attention to it, then we tend to ignore it and they focus more on physical health um, conditions because physical health conditions, um, they have things that we can see with our naked eyes, right? I mean, you run tests and you can see it on the test. With mental health conditions, they are not so clear cut. They are very real. They are just as real as physical health conditions, but understanding them might be a bit more difficult that said they do exist and we should pay attention to them to understand your mental health status and that of your partner it's important for you to see your doctor right and then your doctor may delve into your history to find out if there are any mental health conditions that run in the families and then your doctor may also suggest um, psychometric evaluations right to understand where you are regarding your mental state and where your partner is as well regarding um, mental um, state and if by chance we find out okay there is a kind of mental health condition that runs in the family maybe like a bipolar affective disorder or maybe schizophrenia or something then we can start making and by we i mean the medical team can start making necessary changes maybe to lifestyle maybe to um choices lifestyle choices to help to reduce your risk of having such a mental health condition and also generally to understand you better understand your partner better understand what triggers are especially if you or your partner already have a mental health condition that you are dealing with so these six tests are very important and they're six tests that i recommend to everyone all couples who are looking to get married all right guys thank you for watching till the end i really appreciate it if you liked what i had to say hit the subscribe button hit the like button Leave a comment for me, let me know how useful this video was. And if you have any topic you would like me to discuss in the future, also leave a comment for me, let me know, and I will do my possible best to discuss that topic in the nearest future. Thank you all for listening. Bye.